How's it going today, everybody? It's your boy Will Reacts 215 in the building, and I am back with a chapter review of Eden's Zero, chapter 94, Cheeky versus Draken. Um, as y'all can see, I'm just now getting off work and I'm having my little happy hour since you know all the everything closed. So you gotta make do with what you gotta make do. <laughs> uh last time we left off though, uh Amira revealed herself to Rebecca Way's happy Pino Moscow, you know what I'm saying? Telling her how she's working with the organization trying to take down Draken. And um what else did she say? She didn't reveal the name of the organization, but I think it's the Galactic the Galactic um alliance that she's a part of with Justice and I forgot the other guy's name. But that's just speculation. Um Draken appeared and he pretty much destroyed the ground and Shiki separated herself from everyone so that Draken could not obtain Rebecca and now we have a standoff so let's get into this chapter I'm expecting good things it's from the title I was actually expecting Shiki versus Jen but I don't know what they're going to do with that because where is he like <laughs> you can't just have him there the one time and they fight and then now all of a sudden he just don't appear at all so I think he's, they're going to fight, and he's either going to join the crew. Join the crew. Sorry. It's John Lewis now. So we got Sister Ivory, my favorite E Zero character. Her um, powers are healing ether. She likes torture. Of course, you see how she defeated Dachi. She wasn't playing. Uh, uh, she dislikes things that can't be healed. <laughs> what? Her attack is two stars. Her defense is three stars. Her marksmanship is three stars. Her ether power is four stars, which we saw when she did overheal destroy. Uh, her ether, uh, her intelligence is two stars. Uh, I, I guess. And um, her healing is five stars. And in the memo, it says she may be a scary lady with the foul mouth, but she's also a healer model android who fixes every everyone's wounds and injuries. She is one of the Demon King's four shining stars and is always a court according to her, showing affection to Mr. Moskoy. Her phone live screen is a picture of Miss Rebecca. We also got the that uh, revelation when Rebecca woke up that she's like obsessed with Rebecca. I feel like Moskoy is going to be an important character. Quote me on that right now. Will Reacts 215, Chapter 94. He said Moskoy is going to become an important character. Quote me on that. Quote me on that because I definitely believe that that's going to happen. Definitely believe he's going to be important. Okay. We got to hurry after Shiki. Yeah. And Amira's like, wait, let's, wait, let's just let him keep Draken busy. We need to get that life, to that life support device. That's right. She said Draken had a life support device that she could hack or I guess destroy that would make him vulnerable and weak. And uh, Pino says, but then Master could, and she is like, he's tough, isn't he? <laughs> Happy's like, yeah. But he, but that doesn't mean he can. <laughs> and Amira is like, "What's with you people? Can't you trust your own crewmate?" We're actually getting dialogue from Moskoy because he says you are starting to weigh on my nerves, and he has thumbs up. Now, before Moskoy only said Moskoy, he's important, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, look out for Moskoy. <laughs> we're gonna need to. We're gonna need all of us to beat drinking. He's after Rebecca, so we so we need to keep her as far away from him, right? And so Waze is like, yeah. And then she says, and we'll need Waze and Pino to tinker with the device. And Cyber, I forgot Cyber was with them. What's his purpose there? Oh. You're going to take us there, right? And Happy will be Rebecca's bodyguard. He's like, I. Right. And Moscow is like, what role do I get to play? And she's just looking at him like, I guess you just go around saying Moscow or whatever. To liven up the place. <laughs> He's like, you're starting to weigh on my nerves. <laughs> Stop playing with my school. It gotta be a reason why he's there. Like, it has to be a reason. It has to be. And what happened to um the captain of the Edens 1? What happened to him? He's like, I'm never saying my school again. She's like, whatever, let's go. This way, follow me. Shiki, please be okay. My school. <laughs> Though he wasn't saying it no more. Okay, so we got Shiki and Draken standing off, looking intense. And Shiki springs towards him. Draken raises his arm and just smacks the living 
H E double hockey sticks out of Shiki. And Shiki's like, he changed his arm to iron. And then he just whacks him again. And he jumps onto the wall. He climbs up the wall, punches the wall, grabs all the the uh the pieces of the ceiling and tosses them at Draken. But he lifts up his arm. I didn't know Gravity Ether Gear could do that. This is where I have the problem with Mishima saying that um, Shiki's intelligence is like a one or a two stars. Because Draken is even acknowledging the fact that Shiki is using his ether gear at a... I mean, at least competent enough for him to grab pieces of the ceiling and toss it towards him. And he's saying, I didn't know it could be used that way. And then he goes, Ultimate Day Makima Attack. Gravity Comet. Kazoom. He blocked it? And Draken's smiling. Flash. My ether gear changes the properties of matter. I can even take that rubble you just threw at me and change it into explosives. Boom. So Draken is kind of OP right now. I don't know how Shiki's going to defeat this dude without it being um, plot. Good stuff. So he's pretty much blew Shiki away. The floor too, of course. So he changed the floor into explosions. Ignition floor. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm sorry, that was too loud. Ignition floor. Draken just blew up Shiki. Like, whoosh. He, oh, he jumped up. Oh, right. You can fly. No, I fell into the ceiling. So he's sending his ether gear up. Bzz, 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 bzz. Thunderwall. <laughs> Oh, boy, 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 boy. Crash. Fell into the ceiling. Oh, you're definitely going to fall all the way to hell. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Homer has stumbled upon Labilla, who I don't understand what she's there for either. But, I mean, she's pretty much stumbled upon her. Because Amira disguised herself as Labilla and infiltrated. And she says she underwent torture training. I was dangerously close to changing into one of these indecent costumes. But I think I think I may try try one. I may like to try one. So that's her talking to herself again. How she likes to say things in her mind. This is Homer, by the way. So she was thinking about changing into one of the stripper outfits. Mishima is in the plaza. I have contacted them and asked them to shelter. Who are you anyway? A friend of Rebecca's. She came here to save you. And the bull is like, what? Just the, what's that about? Why would Rebecca? Wait, where are you going? Clack, clack. To meet up with my companions. For I wield my sword in defense of my friends. Homer, like, I always kind of liked her character and how so different it is from Urza. She's like has this innocence about her. Like she she's a dope character. And Sylph is like, I lost. Draken is going to absorb me. Emotion detected. Fatal error. Brother. Emotion suppression protocol failure. So now he can't suppress our um he can't suppress our emotions anymore because if you remember in the fight she got scared against Homura in the little little barrette thing suppressed her emotion and let her regain her ability to fight again keep out keep out so Rebecca Amira Weez Happy and Pino they found the life support and so Weez like so this is the life support device eh he used this to live as long as he has Amira's like that's not all there's a secret behind this device that you'll never believe whoosh wind but where's it coming from Oh, I just talked Jen up. I just talked them up. What? This wind. Ouch. 
It cuts like knives. There he goes. I am Jen, assistant to Colleen of the Element 4. I will eliminate all who trespass here. Jen? Rebecca's like, him? I don't think he, he was dressed like that last time. Mr. Jen, it's so good to see you. He's like Moscow. <laughs> Mr. Jen, we don't have to wrestle against each other. In fact, the person you've been looking for is whoosh. Oh, he cut up Moscow. <laughs> Wait, it's like Moscow. The Moscow is set flyer. Friend or sister's imposter, you make me ill. No, you're making a hefty mistake. But I'm not pushing it. Oh, he was about to push his belly button. I wonder if he presses the belly button, does he go undergo a transformation? Or does he really explode like sister says? I don't think he explodes, though. Just listen, okay? Forget about Moscow for now. You're starting to weigh on my nerves. Everybody getting on Moscow nerves this chapter. Oh, that was the end of the chapter? That couldn't have been. That couldn't have been. They're going to end on a cliffhanger like that? That couldn't have been the end of the chapter. Draken is just whooping Shiggy's ASS. That's the end of the chapter. Wow. Why did it end like that? That was kind of a weird way to end the chapter. But um, it was pretty good. I mean, we got a little bit of uh, Shiki versus Draken. I don't think Shiki's going to win this fight. I really don't. But like Amira said, they're going to need everybody versus Draken. Like a 12v1. <laughs> um, Jin appeared. And I feel like he may fight ways. But I really wanted him to fight Shiki. But it kind of makes sense if he fight ways. And then somehow joins the crew. Because I think I said I stated this in another video. The crew right now, their top three fighters are uh, Shiki, Homura, and Witch, who I'm actually like surprised by because she has like elemental ether, so she can do electric, uh, wind, shield, ice, and then like those are the three main fighters. And, and I feel like the crew needs like. I feel like Waze and Rebecca are support fighters. Like, they're not the ones who are going to, like, go forward and rush into a fight. Like, um, uh, Hermit is a, she's not a fighter. Like, she, yeah, she beat Fee, but only because she hacked his weapons. And Sister, she can, like, torture and, like, heal you to the point where you can cause damage, but... I feel like they are not, like, they're not going to rush into a fight. Where, I don't even feel like Witch is going to rush into a fight. But Shiki, Homura, and Witch may be the strongest ones on the crew right now. And you can write in the comments, you know, I could be wrong or I could be overlooking something. Because I actually want to go back and read Andrew Eaton Zero from Chapter 1 up until now. To see if I missed anything and to pretty much gauge the crew's skills. Because I really feel like it goes Shiki, Homura, Waze, Rebecca. And then I feel like Rebecca and Waze is like interchangeable. But then out of the four star shots, we got Witch, Hom uh, Homura, Sister Hermit. Like they need another fighter that's going to be able to help them in the upcoming battles that they got going forward. Um, but that pretty much does it for this reaction to Eaton Zero Chapter 94. I don't like the way it ended, but the chapter was actually pretty good. We got a little bit of Shiki versus Draken. I don't know how Shiki's going to defeat Draken. We got a little comedy out of Moscow, who I think is going to be an important character later on. Quote me on that. And um, that pretty much does it for this chapter. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. As you can see, I got it up there. Will reacts 215 yt And on my Instagram, bam w dot s dot g underscore two one five you can follow me on there and um be on the lookout i might do because i got an ethernet ethernet cord that i might hook up to my playstation and try to record some gameplay of 
Predator Hunting Grounds and some Fortnite. And I might do another Final Fantasy VII Remake video because I have not touched that game since I recorded it last. And I didn't even upload that video because the audio was out of sync. Out of sync, but um, I may do another recording of that, but I'm not 100% sure because I know they're taking people's videos down, giving them copyright strikes, and threatening to sue if you show the game, ending of the game, and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not. I'm kind of debating. I think I might, but um, be on the lookout for those videos. I'm going to try to do it. I'm still getting in the hang of getting back to work, you know, coming home, decompressing from the day, and I have to make time. For this YouTube thing because this is something that I really want to do. I don't want to start and then stop. Start and stop. I want to be consistent and push it through. So be on the lookout for all of those things. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We making steady gains. I appreciate all my subscribers. 